16 total competitors. That's the maximum for any event coming in here. On your marks. Virginia Tech with three entries in the 3,000. And the problem for the other teams and the other runners in this field is that both Cooper Tier and Cole Hawker can do it any way they want. They can grind it from the front if they wish, or they can sit back, wait, and kick. So now the two groups combine. And we'll get a chance of pace here rather, rather soon. Waleed Suleiman, also from Old Miss in the race. The two Arkansas entries, Gilbert Boyd, Amon Kimboy. Kimboy had his hand on the shoulder of the, of the leader to start that first lap. And that was Ben Fleming from Virginia Tech. And he had his hands out <laughs> saying, I'm not doing anything. He's touching me. He's touching me. <laughs> Kimboy doubling back from yesterday's 5,000 meters. Here comes Cooper Tier around the outside. Hawker mid-pack, Tier taking the lead at the first 400. Around 64 seconds for the first two laps. Cole Hawker, the winner of the mile earlier, now going up to occupy the second position right behind his teammate. Well, then the uniqueness of this schedule just uh, makes doubling that much more impressive. Cole Hawker won that mile, and it and it was less than an hour ago. And so now he's back out here in the 3K. And, and so you see, you know, the double and even the triple at the national championships on a regular basis. But it's even more difficult because it's just a men's only session. Yep, tightened up schedule. And this is where Oregon has made its choice. We've touched on this again that, you know, the cross country championships are Monday. And for the first time in 16 years, I believe it is, that Oregon will not go with a full team to that championship. And they're trying to maximize their chances of winning a team title. And their best chance, obviously, is here in Door. And that is where they have decided to focus their efforts. And right now, it has paid off as the right decision. Well, Robert Johnson said as the indoor season started that he was full force ahead on the NCAA indoor championships and they would kind of see what happened for cross country. Same with uh, Edric Floreal. He said, no, I, I didn't want to change. He did, they didn't want to change the training schedule because you run so many miles in cross country as you would to an indoor and an outdoor track and field season. So uh, they just said, let's do indoors and let's give it our best shot. Looked like about 238 for the first thousand, but as I expected, the Oregon Ducks are up there controlling the pace. And it's honest enough where most of the 16 runners are strung out safely. Everybody's got room to run. But what an advantage the Ducks have here. First of all, Cooper Tier running a great 1600 meter leg last night on the DMR to bring them under 920 once again. And then Cole Hawker coming back after just an hour of his mile victory here today. They can control things from the front as much as they want. Sitting in third position, that's Baldwin Magnuson from Eastern Michigan. He's run 7.53 this season. And then in fourth position, got a seasonal best of 7.48. That's Mario Garcia Romo from Old Miss. Kemboy of Arkansas there in fifth position. And his teammate about Gilbert Boyd about eighth place so far. Still early on. Less than half the race run so far. Real quickly, let's go over to the pole vault. Casey Lightfoot going for a collegiate record, 19 feet, 9 inches, and he stops <laughs> at the box and goes under the bar. Seven laps remaining in this 3,000 meters, and not a whole lot has changed since about lap number two. Mario Garcia Romo up there in third. Here comes Kemboy into fourth. Mentioned to see.
see at what point Cole Hawker starts to struggle, if at all. Again, just won that mile almost exactly an hour ago. Right now, he was finishing. Well, he looks pretty comfortable at this point. Certainly, your leader does, too. Garcia Parra there. He's had a good weekend of running, certainly. 3.53 on the DMR yesterday. And we didn't even realize how fast they were going in that DMR yesterday. About five of the teams had season's best and school records. And if they'd pushed just a little harder, if that was possible, the Ducks would have gotten broken their own collegiate record in the event. Move made there by Antonio Lopez Segura of Virginia Tech in Spain. They have three runners in this final from Blacksburg. And he takes up the leading duties, changing things up a bit. Segura came to the U.S. as a student exchange in a student exchange program 2016-17 and won the 3,200-meter Class A outdoor state meet in Virginia. Fell in love with Virginia and finds himself at Virginia Tech. And it's not like he's really sped things up too much or slowed them down. So Cooper Tears seems to be fine. Being Arias Hawker still looking very good after that 353 plus mile effort an hour ago. So Tier takes the lead back. Hawker goes with him. And then there goes Mario Garcia Romo of Old Miss trying to split the Ducks. Kim Boy of Arkansas as things slow down a little bit. And the pack bunches up. That's a smart move by Kim Boy to move to the outside and be ready for any moves or surges that the Ducks might put in. Mario Garcia Romo wants the lead and Cooper Tier does not want to give it to him. Romo goes anyway. So Mar Mario Garcia Romo will miss now leading over Cooper Tier. Tier wants the lead back coming up with a bell lap. It's Tier, Garcia Romo, Hawker, and Kemboy. Tier now gapping Garcia Romo. Maybe made the, the move too quick, and then this is exactly what we expected. We expected 1, 2, 18 points for the Ducks, and that's what we're going to get. Cole Hawker looks like he wants to challenge his teammate for the win, going for the double. Cooper Tier says, I want the double. It's going to be Hawker. He wins the mile and the 3K. Cooper Tier finishing second, 18 points for Oregon, and that is pretty much going to put it away. In fact, it's absolutely going to put it away. LSU only with a 4x400 team remaining in the meet. Ten points is not enough, and here's the move. Well, you see Cooper Tier literally the, on the bell lap. He puts five meters on the field, and that's how you make a move to the front. But in my conversations with Sam Prinkle, who was there two years ago, he said the last guy to make a move in the 3,000 in the mile is usually the guy that wins. So look for the guy who makes the last move, and it was Cole Hawker here in the 3K. And I'm glad Cooper Tier had a smile on his face because he thought he had that one. He looked around with 50 meters to go, and he said, no way, this guy's making a run at me. The race to the double, and Cole Hawker wins that race. 746-15 over Cooper Tier. They go 1-2, 18 points for Oregon as we